Hello viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 8 of my Minecraft Feed the Beast uh, Jaded Cats Magic Farm Mod Pack series thing. Um, at the end of the last episode, I was really confused about getting a means to uh, g transplant and grow grapevines elsewhere. Ooh. Uh, and I even, after recording, made a test world and confirmed that I should have been getting grape cuttings from what I was doing, at least one. And that should be, if I use the shears on these outside things here where the grape clusters are, I should get grape cuttings. If I don't, I'm going to be very, very confused. Because it's not like I'm using a different config file or anything. It's the exact same mod pack. I just made another world for the test. So, here goes nothing. Is this... Uh, where to go? Grape cutting! Yes! Excellent! Okay, so that's what I wanted. Some grape cuttings. Now I can actually make some grape plants over at the main base. That will be awesome. And I don't need this stuff here. But I am going to go ahead and harvest these iron bars because I don't want to waste iron. So let's go ahead and salvage all this. Eh. And I'll go ahead and use where to go? This one. That's a little faster. Yeah, I don't want to use the iron that I have on this because, well, iron's a bear in this mod pack. It's, I guess, relatively easy enough to find. It's just expensive and toilsome to work with. So I, I want to conserve as much as I can. Oh, also, <gasps> I didn't even remember this. Grove biome. Ah, I got an achievement for that. Neat. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these. Because that way I don't have to make them and I'll just go ahead and grab this stuff too. Ta-da! Sorry, villager. I just looted your house. Um... Let's see here. Also, um, where did it go? Hmm. Over here? Was this where I found it? Yeah. And... This one? No. Um... One of these was the brewer's place. Maybe it was the one up there. Uh, it had a fireplace in it. So, uh, without even having to go to the nether, I was able to get one nether rack, which I'm going to go use in my, uh, my, my forge, my blacksmith shop or whatever it's going to end up being called but it looks like I'm stuck over here for the night so I'm going to go ahead and cut here wait for morning battle my way back home and uh, I guess I will uh, be back hopefully with some grapevines so I will talk to you in a bit all right guys I'm back and I just want you guys to see the uh installed nether rack with the eternal fire but the other reason why I'm here in the workshop is I wanted to make some of this there we go because I think it would look neat to have these on the end caps the the 
ornate quarried stone as the end caps to my grapevine area. So let's see here. I decided this one, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then string this across the top. Wow. Wow, exactly 15. Wow. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Because it's perfectly spaced. Two on each side of the torch. That's pretty cool, actually. Alright. Now, let's do this. And this. Hey. Where'd my water go? Uh oh. Ah, I guess it was a pretend water block. Weird. Alright. And. There we go. That. Should do it. Now I just have to till this. And that. And that. Then I can just plant these here and they should be fine and I'll get some light in the middle here and speaking of light it's time to sleep oh my it's also time to eat um num 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 all right hello there we go Let's see here. Oh. There's an update. Interesting. So, yes. There they go. It's growing. It's going to make a grapevine. And what happens when the uh, grapevine gets the actual main stalk too tall, it stops growing unless this stuff is up above it. And it can go in any of the four directions. It will grow out to make uh, either a line like you see here. Or if I had more, I could put it on... Where's my dirt? I don't want to use that. All right. I could put it there and it would also grow out this way. And there'd be grapes in like a diamond shape. <clears throat> but I'm just going to have it as a straight line here. One annoying thing about the grapes that I have found out over there is when you harvest them, they just go flying off in random directions. So they're kind of hard to manage, but I'll deal with it. So now I've got the hops and the grapes. Um, I think, I, I'm pretty sure these fishnets are from the same mud. Um... Uh, growth craft. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's the case. My cocoa farm is going well. Feed uh, pomegranates and dragon fruit, apples, uh, nutmeg, avocados, and this is just my rubber tree area. But uh, these should be growing up big and strong so I can start harvesting them but there are several more plants that I need to get my hands on including just some vanilla plants like for instance potatoes and watermelons and pumpkins but those will have to be just as I find them so patience on that um, I know that there are at least, let's see here, there's spice, there's vanilla, there's cinnamon, there's um, star fruit, there's mango, um, I know there has to be more than that, but uh, that's just the food things, and then I have to start worrying about the different types of trees. So, yeah, I have a lot of stuff on my plate. But I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I will now 
uh, begin working on the actual uh, dig site. I don't have enough chicken eggs to be able to feel comfortable in, in starting the work on the chicken coop just yet, but slowly but surely I am getting eggs out of here. Um, I guess I could breed these guys and get some more chickens. I should go ahead and do that. But anyway, I will go ahead and cut here and I'll be back with whatever it is I'm doing next. So talk to you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and I just figured I'd show you uh, what it looks like when it finally reaches the uh, iron bars up here. If you break this uh, block of leaves here, you for one thing, it only takes a couple of hits. But for another thing, you will get one of these back. So that's just, uh, I, I guess, basically just a placeholder where the, uh, the actual grape cluster block will hang off the side from it. And these will eventually grow to look like that and sprout some on their own. And the reach apparently is only two from the center, which is why I have two out from each one as the uh, the distance. But when these grow, it graphically makes the nearby iron bars not attached, but they it's actually one continuous thing still. But that's basically what I found out when I was tinkering around on my test map just to make sure that I was doing something wrong with the uh, harvesting, which apparently I just wasn't getting any grape cuttings. But now I'm going to move on to the uh, stuff over there. I do need to remember. Aha, I almost didn't do it. Um, I won't take that one. Um, there's some wool, da, da, da. and don't want to use that. I will use where to go. This because I'm going to definitely need. A bed out that way there we go okay so I'm off to go set up the dig site so I will be back in just a bit hey guys I'm back and uh, I am over here on the edge of what, what's this called a oh this is an extreme hills okay I thought this was something else oh all right and as you can see, I have found some pumpkins. So I can add that to the list of food things that I found. Literally right over there where my crosshairs are is a lamp for where the uh, mining outpost is going to be. And I was just looking around and I saw orange over here. So I came to investigate and ta-da! Pumpkins! So now I can go ahead and Harvest these, get that taken care of, get a uh, pumpkin patch going. Ah, feels good to get that out of the way. And also, I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's in here. All right. Um, blah. I'll just put it here for now. Jacar or jacaranda or something like that. All right. Oh, there's no more wood. Looks to be a short little stubby tree. What does the actual wood look like, though? That's the question. Oh, there it is. Kind of a pinkish sort of color. All right. And a sapling. Yay! That will go in the tree farm. 
cool. So I will go ahead and finish harvesting these and then head back to the mining outpost and get ready for doing some major digging because I definitely need some resources. So I will cut here and be right back. Okay, so while I was waiting for these uh, purplish leaf blocks to disintegrate so I could get as many saplings as possible out of them, I was just wandering around and jumping up and down the hills and all that kind of stuff. And I found over this direction multiple obsidian totems and what that means is there's some loot over there so i don't have any real armor what why am i why is my skin oh well that's weird sometimes it does that but i'm going to hop up here oh i need a scoop that's what i need I'm going to swoop in, grab the loot, and run away, because, yep, there's a wisp. I hear it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. No, no. Ow. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Well, that could be bad. Ah. ah! Give me all the loot. Loot all the things. No, 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 no. Bye bye. I really don't like those things. Am I going the wrong way? There's a couple of them. Ah! No, I'm going the right way. I can tell because there's those dead trees over there. Da, 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 da. Up over here, running, running. Hello, sheep. You know what? Hey -ya! Now I can make a scoop. Did I get pork chops out of that? Nope. But I do have three buckets, and that's awesome. And that is why I wanted to make a scoop. Because I don't think I have any of those bees yet. I do need to get to work on a bee thing, but that's kind of a... A... Later on when I have plenty of other supplies and power source in line so I'll probably just keep collecting them and manually uh, putting them in the bee houses until then but what did we get we got a saddle a music disc an iron ingot some string two buckets five gunpowder what appetite crystal and a ruby what are these for hold on bread um, I don't think there was anything else. All right, so what are these for? Usage. Okay, making blocks. Ancient staff topper. And this. Ancient staff pole. Okay. Well, obviously these are used to make an ancient staff. So, I have no idea what that's for. I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work in making the actual structure for the mining outpost and then start with the dig site. 
and I will be back momentarily. All right, discovery after discovery after discovery. Um, I hopped over the hill here after getting the uh, the one Meadows Princess. I didn't get any drones, unfortunately. And I wanted to come see what this stuff was, and it is called Mud Balls. And apparently, Mud Balls can be used for making like some basic armor and some tools as far as I understand it. So I'm going to go ahead and gather this and it doesn't seem like you can dig it any faster with a shovel than with your hand so I'm not going to use my shovel. But there's another thing over here that I was looking at. Looks like there's some cattails. Oh, there's another layer of mud. Awesome. I'm going to get a whole bunch of this. And see what I can make. Hey, let me out. Where are you? I hear you. Are you in the tree? No? Guess you're underground. All right. Got some different kinds of reeds over here. And something else. Sun's getting ready to set, but let's look at this real quick. Reeds and cattails. And how much of this? I've got... Uh, I can dig a little bit more before the sun sets. I'll go ahead and finish digging this and... Uh, I'll be back with what I find. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I have two whole units of armor. It's a lot. Not really, but I did manage to craft some armor out of the blobs of mud that I found. Um, also, uh, wrong one. Uh, no, no, this one. Apparently, you can use it for, well, making mud, for one thing, but also making the uh, regular tools. And the reeds can be used as sticks, and there's a couple different kinds of reeds. There's bamboo, and let's see here. Okay, bamboo, reed, and stick. All right. Um, but yeah, there's the armor. And apparently... I can make a music disc that's got an unknown name. I'm going to have to tinker with that later. But also importantly, I can make mud bricks. Which, uh, let's see here, usage. Make mud bricks. Okay, what's the usage on that? Ah, there we go. So, it looks like if I'm going to be making an outpost over in that biome there, which I will, uh, I'm going to be making it out of mud bricks, because that's, that's pretty unique to that biome. But, I'm going to, once again, I know I keep saying this, but I'm going to get to work on what my project is here, and oh, I, uh, We'll be back shortly after I figure out what I need to put in that chest to make room for this. Um, hmm. I'll take those out. There we go. All right. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, guys. I'm back, and I have begun the work on the uh, dig site quarry station thing. Uh, this is not going to be a real actual quarry block. This is going to be a manual dig site. And the way I have it set up here is there's a 7x7 seven seven hole that's going to just keep going down with me. Uh, with a platform that has a guardrail going all the way around it. And in the middle is some cobblestone transport pipe. 
and that's going to also go down with me. Mostly it's for aesthetics, but it's also got utility because once I start getting some uh, uh, redstone and other supplies that I need for making uh, the uh, pistons, is I'm going to turn the bottom of it into a receiving station, which will just pipe everything up here to where the actual mining outpost slash processing plant is going to be. Um, and what I'm going to do for each level is obviously have a few of these to light up the area. And just also for aesthetics, there's going to be some posts. I'm probably going to actually cook some cobblestone and actually replace these with the cooked cobblestone, the actual smooth stone. Uh, just to make it look like that they were already there as sort of support columns just just because but it's going to go down every few levels probably just like this and I'll have uh, a few branch mines off of each one I haven't gone in here yet I'm kind of afraid to uh, but I'm probably going to have a notable mining network at levels 30 and level 12. Um, and the reason for that is, is that way I can get some uh, larger quantities of tin at the level 30-ish area. And at 12, more diamond and gold and redstone and higher chance of lapis down there and all the other goodies down there. So, uh, it's going to be a, oh, there's another one of those lag things. What is going on? Uh, there's going to be a, a slow dig as I go down, but it's going to be fun for me anyway. Um, the, uh, outpost I'm going to have here is just going to be a basic thing for right now, but it is going to, like I said, turn into an ore processing plant uh, as best I can. But that's going to be later once I get a lot more resources and some power. But in the meantime, I'm going to cut here and be right back with the uh, outpost station done and probably wrap up the episode. We'll see. So I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, guys, it is built. The the beginning of the, the workshop here. This is just very rudimentary. Uh, this is basically a placeholder. Just a little chest array. I have some of the, the uh, cobblestone and dirt that I dug up while making this place in there. Um, wall of pickaxes, shovels, and a scoop in case I find some rocky hives. And uh, went ahead and put my zombie head up there since I am in fact wearing armor. Uh, my loot chest here. Some various building and working materials in here. Furnace, crafting table, Ah, pine, and I went ahead and smelted some, uh, or cooked some cobblestone to make the smooth stone to make this look a little bit sharper. But, that's pretty much it for getting this thing started. I even have a nice little window to look outside. However, that is going to have to be it for this episode. In the next episode, I will be uh, making the dig site actually produce stuff off and on. But I'm also planning on continuing the road that way. Uh, probably make a bridge over here to get off in that direction. Because I think that that has nice access to some more biomes over that way. But, yeah, that's gonna have to be it for this one so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to get back to you 
Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my next stuff comes out. Um, I am going to be working still on my other series, so keep an eye out for those. This is probably going to be my primary series for now, since you guys seem to like it more than the other ones. Uh, I n I'm not going to stop the other ones, I just am not going to focus on them as much. But uh, there is going to be plenty to do in the future. Also, uh, a friend of mine who's... YouTube channel is GamerBobby101. I'll probably put a link in the description or, or just mention him in the description. Uh, is getting started on doing some YouTube stuff. So uh, I humbly request that you go take a look at his stuff. He's doing uh, some Skyrim, some, I think maybe some Dragon Age, some uh, other role playing games and whatnot. Uh, and in the future, we probably have plans to do some uh live stream stuff together we're just not set up for that yet but uh yeah go check out his channel he would appreciate that i appreciate it but uh yeah as far as this episode's concerned i am done with it so thank you very much once again for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and uh i guess i will uh Talk to you later.